Hi guys. Um, well, in reading comments, I see that a lot of you are really struggling now, physically, mentally. And I may read some of those comments that were left under a video that I posted yesterday. I want to show you what was happening with these frequencies being set off on that radar site that I have been using in a minute, but I got a comment from somebody saying this is Grind All 61's backup channel, and I thought, Jesus, don't tell me he got deleted. All right, he didn't, um, or th his channel terminated, but he did post a video that is um, his last video for when my channel gets deleted. Subscribe to my backups. I got a copyright strike yesterday on a video that I don't even, it was so long ago that I posted this video and I have no clue, you know, um, what the video was even about because I can't get to the video. Now, if they could actually just let, you know, just leave the video private so we know what the video is, so that we know how to counter you know, uh, to file a counter notification against it. All right. Um, but I've been receiving an awful lot of comments. I don't get your notifications, comments being deleted. Um, there's an awful lot going on, more and more, on the Internet, uh, social media, um, that... An, a lot who are posting about the truth of what is taking place are experiencing. And they are they are working, you know, every which way to make sure that we have a limited audience. If my channel gets deleted, I do have another backup channel. It's never lose truth Kafka too. I even my short-term memory, I'm telling you, I forgot about that channel until somebody mentioned it in a comment. My backup channel. For all of the channels that you rely on, I suggest you go to their channels and you, if they don't have their backup channels where you can find it on their channel page, you ask them if they have a backup channel, if so, could you give me the link and subscribe to them? Because channels now, well, I experienced it on Kafka Winston World. Copyright strikes or community guideline strikes it was. I'm sorry, not copyright. One, two, three, boom, gone. That's how fast it can happen. So, um, yes, subscribe to the backup channels. And, you know, I also saw this. We are actually going to see the end of birthright citizenship for illegal aliens. Let me bring up that article. And I'm choosing CNN politics for a reason, because mainstream media, you know, in many ways, they reflect the American population. Um... We have so been a lost people, have no, most people don't even know that we're a constitutional republic, that states had more power than the federal government, that the federal government was supposed to be a limited government, um, and everything has been out of control for a very long time, a very long time, hundreds of years, but executive orders. Now, Trump claims he can defy Constitution and end birthright citizenship. If this was Obama, this headline would read differently. CNN calling out Trump for defying the Constitution and ending birthright citizenship. And this is not about whether you agree or disagree with birthright citizenship and what that means is um, somebody here illegally gives birth, that child has citizenship, even though they were born to somebody who 
is not a citizen, and here, illegally. So it's not about agreeing with that at all. This is about our imperial president, our imperial pre presidency, and the fact that we don't have three branches of government, and we have not for a very long time. The executive order, presidents, writing law, signing it, and it becomes law. This is not what the founders had in mind for the president, because they did not want to establish a king who, by fiat, decides what the law is going to be. This has been going on throughout decades with these executive orders that are entirely unconstitutional, but what a lot of Americans do with that is as long as a president is writing an executive order, uh, writing law that you agree with, you're fine with it. But if you're, if, if you disagree, then you're not fine with it. It doesn't matter. The executive order itself is unconstitutional and it has allowed presidents to dictate like a king. And everybody should be, and I have posted videos on this. I posted it early on about Obama. I'm posting it about Trump. The executive order that we as Americans have allowed these presidents to create, to sign, and boom, you've got law. Do you understand that it's Congress's power to do that? They, they legislate. The president executes the laws. President does not write the law. So, you know, it's, it really is not, it's, it, no one should be happy about the president ending birthright citizenship as he is doing. So, if you want to get the Constitution back, you really have to let go of personality. You've got to go on principle. Forget about who the leader is. You go with what the Constitution has um, provided us, which is a constitutional republic, three branches of government that's supposed to be checking each other's power, not usurping power. And then the other branch, which is Congress, saying, okay, you can have my power. I'm giving it to the president. Uh, it, this, this whole system that has developed here is so far from a constitutional republic. We don't have a constitution anymore, but we've got a lot of Americans who are going, yay, yay, Trump finally is going to end. And I'm not, I didn't even watch this, so I, I'm not even sure what you know Gary is saying here what I am saying is this is not the way our Constitution works and everybody should be up in arms and they should have been up in arms with Obama doing it and Bush doing it and Clinton doing it and then Bush again doing it and Reagan doing it and Carter doing it Nixon doing it. We've allowed our president to become a king. So, the problems that we have in this country are so numerous, it's overwhelming. And these, these problems, uh, they're... It's like now we just live problem. Getting this back under control means all of you on the right getting upset with Trump. 
dictating what the law will be. If you want a constitution, you should be up in arms about this. Those on the left should have been up in arms with Obama doing it, writing law. So, yeah, it's, it's great when you have something going your way. But means to the ends is very important. Because if you don't care about the means, and you only care about the ends, then you actually have something kind of corrupt within yourself. But you're complicit with the destruction of, well, in this case, the Constitution. That's all I have to say.